everyone, it's Tori, also known as Girly Girl Style, and today's video is for all of my Cricut makers out there in the YouTube universe. Whew, I got a good one for you today. I just learned how to print a full page of stickers. If you are a Cricut maker and you make stickers, you probably have run into this situation where you go to print out your stickers and you have all of this extra wasted space here. Uh, the reason I actually got my Cricut so that I could save money printing stickers for my business at home, um, well, one of the reasons I got it, among others, and so having all this wasted space to me is wasted money. So yesterday I uh, decided I was gonna go on a hunt. I was gonna go on a YouTube internet hunt and try to figure out how in the world, cause I know it has to be possible, how in the world can I fill a full page? <sighs> I was sorely disappointed. I searched for, you know, a good, hour, um, maybe a little more than an hour. I was redirected to all kinds of tutorials from like 2016, uh, newer tutorials from last year, um, but they all had me doing crazy steps. It seems so complicated. And they were like, it's no big deal. You just have to adjust this and then take your mat out and then put your mat back in. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to do all that. Let me find an easier way to make this happen. And as luck would have it, Yesterday on TikTok, one of the creators that I follow actually gave a tutorial, like 15 seconds long, on how to make it happen. So I went from wasting all this space like this to filling all the space on the page. And so I wanted to share it with all of you. Um, before I go further, I do wanna give a shout out to this creator, Chubble Gum, over on TikTok, because honestly, they just they made my life so much easier and I'm so thankful. I actually already messaged them, let them know that I was super thankful, but I wanted to share this here on YouTube because I know that so many of you out there have the exact same question I did and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to print a full page. So let's go. All right, well, here we are. We're gonna start in Cricut Design Studio. I'm actually under my projects and I am going to select this Veronica Thank You sticker sheet right here. Uh, these stickers I actually made for Veronica out there. If you're watching this video, I wanna give you a giant shout out and thank you so much for the items that you sent me. These stickers should be coming your way. Um, they were sent out yesterday. So I did create these for uh, Veronica in particular. These are the colors that she loved and she wanted to use them for her small business as well. Uh, so uh, one of the reasons I got my Cricut obviously is to print stickers. And if I can share the love, I'm gonna do so. So here we are. Now, when I printed this originally, let me show you what happened. And I had already showed you the sample at the beginning. Um, so I actually manually adjusted and aligned all of these stickers so that it would fill up as much space as it would let me with that predetermined border. We don't want that. We want to extend that border as far as we possibly can so that we can add more stickers and waste less money. So here's how we're gonna do it. It is so simple. You're gonna start by over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna click shapes. You're gonna click on the square. Now, once you click on the square, you do wanna turn off the aspect ratio because we're gonna adjust it. So you can just click that little lock button down at the bottom. Now, before we go any further, at the top, you're gonna find a way to adjust the size. And we're adjusting the size, width, and height, both of them. So we're gonna change our width to 6.75. And then we're gonna change our height to 9.25. There we go. Then you're gonna move it all the way to the top left of the mat. So you do want it to align all the way over and all the way to the top. Now, because I added it after my stickers, I do have to go up here to the top and click on arrange and send it to the back of the image that I'm working from. Now, it doesn't matter the color because you are actually going to delete that box before you print. So that's a big step. We'll get there um, when we get to the make it portion. So now we have this box that we can see, all right, well, you know, I lined up these stickers so that it filled the space, excellent. All right, well, I'm gonna resize these because to me, the size, this is the size I have them around two inches. Um, it's a little bit big, especially if they're just gonna go on packages. And plus, if I resize them just a little bit, then I'll be able to add more to the sheet or add additional stickers if I want, like the flowers and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize all of these. 
All right, so I realigned um, and resized all of my stickers. So now you're gonna see, look how much extra space is going to be here. When I click on make it, you're gonna find there's even more extra space because I've made them even smaller. So look how much wasted space is here. So what we're gonna do now, now that we've added our square, uh, we may have enough space. I may actually be able to get in some more stickers here. Let's see if we can re finagle things a little bit to see if we can have space for more stickers, possibly. Oh, it's barely. Uh, you definitely wanna make sure that it falls within Okay, so you, it just needs to fall within that border. It cannot go outside the border at all. If it does, it will not have the desired effect. Now, there's still a little space here, so I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add in, you know, some flowers. Right, so I went ahead and I added a few of those flowers uh, because in my mind, I don't wanna waste any of that extra space. And since I am going to print these out and uh, I will be putting them in packages, no wasted space, none at all. Okay, now we're not quite done. If I click on make it right now, so let me show you what's gonna happen because this you might run into this. Look at what's happening here. It's gonna put it on two different mats and it's not aligned the way we want it to because there's one other step that you have to do in order to get this to work. So now back here in your mat, you're gonna command A or you're gonna select all, okay? So whatever is easiest for you. Then when you select all, you're going to come down here to the bottom and attach. So you need to attach all of your images to the square. Once you attach the images, now you're gonna go over to the right and you're actually going to delete the square. That's it. So what did we do? We added a square for alignment purposes. We aligned it to 6.75 by 9.25. We added all of our images that we wanted. We attached, right? We attached all of the images together, including the square, and then we deleted the square. Now, when we go up here to make it, what you're gonna see is now we have one mat and everything is on this mat and it fits within that full surface. We don't have any wasted space. So that is really all there is to this. Now, when I click continue, then I'll print it on the printer. And then after I print it, it'll go on my mat and then it'll go into the Cricut and get cut out. Uh, so that is the process and that's how easy it is. It does not take a lot of time. Uh, you can fill it with as much as you want. In fact, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking maybe I can add more stickers here. I don't know, but that is the process. Super simple. Try it out. Let me know if it works all for right. you. So that's all there is to it. Just remember the five easy steps. Add a square, resize the square to 6.75 by 9.25. Add your images and a line. Attach everything together and then delete the square before you print. That's it. So if you like this content, make sure to like the video. Let me know. Subscribe for I mean, usually I have reseller and small business related content, but now that I'm obsessed with my Cricut, uh, stay tuned. You'll probably see a lot more tips and tricks as I learn them and share them with all of you. So that's it, everybody. Until next time. See ya.